What happened? Look. I forgot to bring the rope that I tie my donkey with. Now what to do? There are no ropes nearby because, because it's not Lohi Bazaar in mountain. It's not a market in mountain. Santa Mahatma said, do one thing. Every day you tie the donkey? He said, yes. How do you do? I pick up one of his legs and I move the rope around around his legs and then I tie it. Do one thing. Donkey is foolish. Like you put a, <coughs> put up the leg and with your right hand you just pretend that you are tying the rope. Don't use the rope, just pretend that you are tying the rope. It was so surprising. All night the donkey stood at one place. Why? Because donkey was thinking that I'm, I have been tied. In reality he was not tied. Like we are working like this. We sleep 10 p.m. and wake up 4 a.m. and go to job. <coughs> so whatever your schedule is. It's like we are like in the team. The donkey thought that daily he, all, he has <coughs> tied me with the rope. It was early in the morning. He put all the groceries back on the back or on the back on the donkey's back. And then he said donkey and he was move, trying to move the donkey and the donkey was not moving. Why was the donkey wasn't moving? Because donkey was thinking still the ropes are in my leg. The donkey is thinking. Was did not open. The saint said, "Do one thing. Now, <coughs> now you pretend that you are opening the rope. You move it in the reverse direction and pretend you are opening it. Then, then he said, Maharaj, how possible? He said, this donkey is foolish. That's the thing. He is foolish. Then, surprisingly, after he pretended, he picked up a leg and he moved, and he pretended he's untying the rope, and quickly the donkey started to walk again." <laughs> what is the meaning? We, what we do in this material world, we, it's like exactly like donkey, nothing else. We think that we are in this world and we don't want anything else apart from this world. So like donkey, we are working. We are working like donkeys. But the day when the knowledge manifests in the heart that we want to attain something transcendental, not material, then in reality we will realize that we need to take shelter of a Guru. In Upanishad it is coming, go to Sadguru. I will tell you one more short katha. I will speak one short katha. And won't take a lot of time. She will tell you a katha of Bengal. This katha is very very famous. In Bengal there is the biggest worship practice. What is that? Sheetala Puja. It's like a demigoddess worship. Sheetala Puja. It's like Devi Sheetala. Demigoddess Sheetala. It's like Sheetala Devi. And the vehicle transport of that Devi demigoddess is donkey. Every demigod, demigod have a specific transportation animals. Shivji, he climbs on a bull. Lakshmi, she sits on an owl. Lakshmi sits on an owl. They sit on not. Ganeshji sit on a rat. Because they don't touch the ground. Themselves. This is true in the same way. This demigod is Sheetala. This is like the presiding deities of diseases. In the summer season, there's like some skin allergy. It's very, very dangerous skin allergy during the summer season. And then, people of village were thinking what to do. So we are <coughs> sick because Devi Sheetala is upset with us. So now we will worship the demigoddess. So Devi Sheetala, they made a beautiful temple, they made a beautiful deities. They were thinking. On the first day, they manifested the deities of, of the Chitala demigoddess on the back of donkey and they were walking around the village with the deities. Then they did the uh, arati of the deities, offered garlands, many, many, many things to the donkey. So they put the deities on the donkey and everyone was doing arati of a donkey. And the donkey was thinking. 
My owner did not give me a grain to eat ever. But today, I am going in any house. In the house, they are worshipping me. They like they <coughs> they put a ghee wick and they made the aarti of the donkey and welcome the donkey. They put some tilak on the head of donkey. They also put a beautiful red flower garland on the donkey. <coughs> give some fruit sweet also donkey was thinking today is a very blissful day am i dreaming or is it real so donkey was thinking today is must be my today it must be my happy birthday when your birthday will come today what do you write b d a y you use short forms you don't even feel have time to write birthday these days so anyway so donkey was thinking today must be my birthday everyone is dancing in ecstasy in front of me worshipping me donkey was thinking it's my birthday and behind me people are doing kirtan playing instruments dancing it must be my birthday i should also dance so let me do some kirtan i'll dance also so donkey started to he picked up his two legs in the front and he started to dance and the kirtan of donkey is so melodious how donkey does kirtan he to that is like making the sound of donkey say like with me say out say with me he to that to that like this donkey started to kirtan This is melodious kirtan of donkey. So look. Gada started to donkey started lang like this. The owner of donkey he started to say, "Hey, what are you doing? This deities will fall down from your bag." But donkey did not realize. He said, "Today is my birthday. I will dance to my best. I will dance to my best." And the donkey started to dance. Meanwhile, the deities fell down. The deities fell down. Then Thakur ji, the deities broke. The deities broke. <coughs> People of listen. Oh, you foolish! What have you done? We were doing worship, and you have done so bad. And they started to hit the donkey with stick. And donkey at the end, he died. He made a very nice happy birthday and happy death day. Both on the same day it happened for the donkey. So that's why in this material world we are like this donkey. Make your happy birthday, no problem. Like Mother Yashoda, she used to celebrate birthday of Krishna by Udwarte of Yamuna.